Welcome to the top five Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers action figure countdown. The way I got it figured. What's up, figure fans? The way I got it figured. Back with another top five review. This time we're looking at the top five figures in the Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2 line. We have 11 figures in the line so far. Um, some of them the same character or a variation of the same character, but we've got six characters overall, six actual different characters. So we're gonna count them down the top five. Um, it was actually a very difficult list to pick. Um, all these figures are great. And just because they're my top five doesn't mean they're like technically superior to another figure or in any way better. Let's just call it for now a favorites list. Because honestly, depending on the day, the list could change. Be another figure, another character, move up and down in the top five. It could be a couple of things. So, you know. When it comes to like your kids, you know, how do you pick your favorites, right? Who, who's your favorite kid? It's an almost impossible choice. And I found making this list, it was kind of difficult, very difficult. What can I say about this line that hasn't been said, it's been gushed over by many a reviewer. I expect that to continue. I've never given any of these figures less than a 10 because I really feel like they're 10 figures, especially for the money. And, uh, you know, it really comes down to who are your favorites. Of course, they knocked out my early, you know, pretty much my biggest favorites have already been done in a sense, not to say that there aren't others, but, you know, when you start off with Ryu and Ken, we're already, already at a good time, right? It's hard to really top them so you know I'm gonna power through this list really quickly I'm not gonna do honorable mentions because everybody that didn't make the list is an honorable mention right off break because again all of these figures are tens it is exceedingly difficult to pick five of them to be the best it's just gonna be all about the feels so I'm going to start off with number five. At number five, we're going to go with the mighty Fei Long. Fei Long uh, is the Kung Fu master from China. It's sort of like a Bruce Lee pastiche kind of clone movie star guy. But always a fun time with good old Faye Long. Uh, when I did the initial reviews for him and Ryu and then Chun-Li, you know, I felt like he was just a little bit better than Ryu. And then Chun-Li was like a little bit better than him from a technical standpoint. But I'm not really going by technicals. I'm going by, like I said, really feels. So, so Faye Long is going to come in at number five. Ken doesn't want to behave. And I had these guys sitting in my car, so they might have got a little gummy, which is kind of my fault. So we got Fei Long here. At number four, I'm really gonna have to go with the yoga master from India, Dolph Seeb. Dolph Seeb is awesome. Um, you know, the poseability, the extra limbs with the stretchy powers and all that sort of thing is great. You know, there's no, <laughs> there's nothing flawed about him or anything. Um, but you know, his design is what it is. That's the character. Um, and while he is interesting, you know, I'm not as interested in him sometimes 
as the other guys, but then other times I am. So, so uh, good old Dalsum is going to be at number four. So hitting the halfway mark at number three, I've got to sort of cheat a little bit and I'm going to give the nod at number three. To Ryu and Ken. Of all the characters that we've gotten so far, plain old OG Ryu and Ken are my absolute top favorite characters. As action figures though, I think they're you know pretty solid. They're, they're awesome. And the reason why I'm picking them is because I can't put them down. I play with these guys more probably than anybody, which in a way might make them a tie for number one. But, you know, I have a little bit more, more nuance than that. What I really like is that they capture the, you know, the, the, the clean cut look of Ken and the sort of down and dirty look of Ryu from the original artwork and uh, that's why I'm going with these two at number th at number three at number two I've got to go with Chun Li um, but I'm not gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna pick one because I already changed it. I was gonna pick two, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go with just one. And that one is actually going to be the uh, San Diego Comic-Con Deluxe Chun-Li uh, for a couple of reasons. One, we get the extra Yatai head and fingers but also, you know, I love the gold accent that they gave her rather than just yellow, like on the original release. Even though there's nothing wrong with the yellow, it's not a flaw. It's just that I just like it. That's what I like. I like it. So she's definitely going to be the one I'm going to go with. And then pulling in the Target exclusive one, also with the gold um you know, an angry face that you get. They all, they're all, they're all great, really. If I had to say one thing I didn't necessarily like about this one as much, is the color of the boots. You know, I mean, obviously it matches the the um, the buns, the sort of belt sash, and the boots. I probably would have liked it better if they were whiter or pinker or something along the lines of that. But she's still great too. But for number two, definitely, it's going to be San Diego Comic-Con Chun-Li. And then at number one, it's probably going to be pretty obvious. We got to go with the master of Shadow Lu, the commander of Shadow Lu. M. Bison slash Vega. What can you say about this guy that, you know, hasn't been said? He's amazing. You got your wired cape. Ooh. So heavy that he doesn't really want to stay on the flight stand. So I'm going to take him off for a sec. Ultimate posability. Just looks awesome. And he's the only one of the actual bad guys that we got um, from Street Fighter so far. Obviously, we got Evil Ryu and Violent Ken, but they're, you know, variants. This is the OG big boss. The final boss, as they say. So there you go. M. Bison, for sure, is so far my number one figure
from the Ultra Street by the two line. So I'm gonna get these guys, you know, situated, uh, the finalists, so to speak, and move on to final thoughts. All right, so there you have it. Your top five Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter II figures in the line. Number five, Fei Long. Number four, Dalsim. Number three, Ryu and Ken. Number two, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, Chun Li. And number one, M. Bison slash Vega. So, like I said, it's a difficult list. You know, I could have easily figured out a way to have Evil Ryu on here or you know violent ken on here um you know because they have great head sculpts and i've always said the portrait really makes the figure um and the fact you know chun lee's on here mainly because of the portrait so there you go pretty much internally consistent so that's the top five for now it's not you know not going to be the top five forever i'm sure the more street fighter figures we get you know dj cammy and gal are coming and we're definitely going to be reviewing them on the channel at least with guile i'm sure i'm gonna get more than one version of them so we'll see all right for now that's gonna do it thanks for watching hope to see you on the next video peace The way I got it figured.